Greetings folks, welcome to a chat from the engineering desk, hope you're doing well. As you can see here, we are going to have a look at one of these. It is Dettol soap dispensers, automatic ones, in this case what used to be an automatic one. As you can see, we've got the scope here and my Greek friend Demetrios from the island of Fluke is going to be assisting us with some measurements. I've got some batteries here. So let's chuck those in and see if we can get this thing to do what it used to do originally. Batteries. Those are new batteries. So theoretically, this here device should echo the pump. Yep, it does. So we have a working specimen. So what this does is it shines an infrared beam from there to there. When you obstruct it, the little pump goes and the soap comes out there. Now this one's still working correctly. Turn it off. I've had it that one of these got it into its head that the hand was permanently there in my absence. I got home and this entire reservoir was all over the kitchen counter. Suffice to say that the only thing that was not clean at that stage was the language being used while I cleaned up the mess. Because it makes a mess. There is soap everywhere. So let's put that where we can find it. see if we can get this open but keep it sort of working uh, it's a look see wobble is this going to do the job oh that's tight Gonna need another screwdriver. Bear with me for a minute. I'll be back. Right, I is back. Got a screwdriver which uh, is capable of getting these screws loose. Now this unit served many years of uh, duty in my kitchen. As you can see, look at how the plastic has been um, destroyed by the sun. Because it stands, obviously, on the windowsill. And where the UV can get to it. Now, as far as I know, I don't have one that has actually stopped working. I have heard of people saying that they've had these things can out and they do no longer work and there's rumors about the microcontroller having a counter in it and so on and so on um, I believe it's unfounded this light to the left of me has got a bad switch can see when I do some percussive maintenance to my desk. Right. Okay. We see the electrical connections. I 
this stage stopping this from yielding the battery compartment you can actually feel it tugging on the switch now if we undo these screws what might happen I think I'm disassembling the pump a little more this is not actually going to yield the contents yet oh uh, switchy stuff coming apart okay Well, uh, let's grab the irony and loosen the electrical connections here. Bears me for a moment while I fetch some solder. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. I'm normally fairly good about keeping some solder handy. Luckily it's located just beyond the cooch. Let's see. There we go. Got her right enough. Now, I need to get to the near determination. Now, what's going on there? Careful, I might have be able to unsolder that. Had to strut the fire too badly in the process. Hey, In here. Another wire. This is the near the bridge piece. Another one. So There we go, sprung that apart. So, <coughs> I'll keep this intact so that then I'm going to extend the wires. So, what we'd like to do. Actually, temporarily put the screws back that are removed one at a time. Oh, come on. Put this pump assembly back together. <coughs> I've 
because you like that to work so that we can play with it. Alrighty, there's a switchy and we know There must have been something here which is keeping an eye out for the signal coming back. We'll hunt for it. So the next job we need to sprue in this cover off. Well, see it yellow there from the sun. Go in. There we go. ABS. Yeah, that doesn't last forever in the sun. But it's done a good job. That's your nice mold. Yeah, you can hear it cracking a bit, it's starting to go. But I mean after five, six years in the sun. Yeah, it's done alright. That fits into there like that. Used to. It might, it might again. Just stuff here. Something clear has fallen apart in here. I guess you're going to find out. So the next job is to remove that. So I've got some soapiness on it. Let's just grab a Kleenex. Clean that up. There's our remoter. We're responsible for our emissions. Put that aside. Okay, let's not sweep that on the floor. Let's look at where it can be retrieved. Hmm. So I wonder what is going on here. Something is solidified in there. Now, let's get back to the interesting stuff. Let's reassemble. Fumble it back together. Something like that. The pin absorbs quite a bit of heat. But that wire is attached. I think I must actually set my soldering iron about 350 degrees Celsius. Alrighty, let's insert these. So, clicky closed. Right, um, how does that work? Yeah, 
えー、ええScope to AC coupling. Scope. I can actually see the pulses. So that is pulsing that LED as expected. Because this being a device that runs on batteries, we know that it can't keep that LED on continually because we don't have infinite amount of energy available. Okay, so what it's doing, see that red wire has actually got the 5 volts on it. happening here uh, there, there, there. also now with a bit of luck we might be 
might just be able to interrogate the frequency at which it's doing this. Let's see if it picks up the frequency. Um, now, when one looks at this, all oh right, there's the there's the receiver, there's the window over there. So. A bit of luck. Yeah, there it goes. How nice is that? Well, what I'm going to do uh, stick her on her side. Yeah, it's proper up on the magnification loss. Um, let's get this centered in the frame for you guys. Zoom her in. And you can see what she's up to. So, takes a while to stabilize come on here we go I don't know if you saw that see the plunger moving So that's how it works. Now that is an amazingly nicely built thing. No wonder it lasted all this time. And the modern ones that I've seen, and um, the guys taking apart, they were not great. So. Turn. Don't need the scope anymore. Done with that. Okay, that wires off. Let's get this unsoldered. There we go. Do away the battery compartment. And then we go, let's see what the rest of it looks like. Let's see what delights it yields. Um, I would like to try and not destroy this. Because I'm thinking it could be repurposed. Something nice like a hydroponic nutrient solution pump. We're adding the good stuff that makes the plants grow. So it looks ideally suited to that. It's a little positive displacement pump. And it's good quality. Look at that. It's zooming in again. Look how nice that is. A proper gasket. Eh? Look at that. Nice housing. There's your little motor. Got some anti radio transmission goodies going in there. It's nice. really nice now 
how hard is it going to be to get apart? Let's zoom it out again. So I don't need to be able to get this into frame while you guys, so that you guys can see what's going on here. And just like that, it exploded. Put that where we can find it. Right, there's a little switch which works off that cam over there and lets the confuser know where the is the cam actually that cam that cam is the one that works the pump like so it's lovely it's all full of schmoo so yeah got a little mysterious black dot over there so we know that that is going to contain the microcontroller now it's not going to yield its secret easily but there is some proprietary flavor but interestingly, everything's marked. Uh, that. Ah, oh, that is pinned in. So that's the R receiver over there. Sorry about that, keeping the frame, Mr. Craig. So this is the R receiver, and there's the little transistor for what makes the motor spin. I don't know what this stuff is. This is it looks like glass and it's hard, but obviously it's not. It must be some of the uh, some of the soap that's gone hard in there or something some of it fell out as I took it apart that's the electronics zoom out again right done with the electronics it, it's an absolute delight Now you obviously you pay for the consumables in the long term but you buy this little kit for about a hundred bucks or so and you get all this technology and working stuff and one of those reservoirs of soap In the deal just clipped on there that is obviously <coughs> all right I'm back I ran out of memory on the on the other camera so I'm using my stores camera to finish this so there we have it folks I'll reassemble this because I'd like to repurpose it there's a little dosing pump because it looks like just the thing for the job it, it's great I can see why it lasted so long and why it works well I've got one of the newer ones but I presume that they're all the same inside I the reason that I've made this video is I had a look at the the dental dispenser videos that that they are on YouTube and the guy takes it apart and faffs around with it but he, he doesn't really get into it he doesn't have a look at the electronics I was not impressed so I decided that there was a need to make a video of one of these and give a thorough talk about it so thanks for watching 
Have an awesome day further. Get a bit classy. I'll see you later. Cheers.